Hi, welcome to Ground Zero, our weekly show on citizen journalism. I'm Vivian. And I'm Sean. So Vivian, have you started missing school yet? Not at all. Rushing out, S9 assignments, eating poor excuses for food, travelling for eternity on the MRT in peak hour crowds every single morning. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Yeah, and I'll bet you the students at Yeo Chu Kang Secondary School won't be missing the school system anytime soon as well. Hmm. Stomper Buntok informed us of how all students have been asked to contribute $50 to the school's 45th anniversary celebrations. $50? That would have been like a whole month's allowance for me back when I was in secondary school, which was a pretty long time ago. <sighs> I'll bet. Buntok elaborated that he found it unfair that all students were forced to make the $50 contribution. He said that even students who were performing for the anniversary celebrations had to pay. That's harsh. Shouldn't, yeah. I mean, shouldn't their performance already be considered a contribution? Precisely. Right? That's exactly how the Stomper felt. The $50 was deducted from every student's EduSafe account and mm. students who have no money in their EduSafe accounts have to pay cash. You know, I would imagine that if a student had no money left in his EduSafe account, he probably wouldn't be able to cough up the cash, right? Yeah, he can't be very rich, you know. In the school's letter to the parents, the letter read, To achieve a high standard of productions for this musical, we have invested heavily in engaging the expertise of various specialists and vendors in training the students. We seek your support in releasing $50 from your child or your ward's EduSafe account to help defray some of the cost. $50 per student seems like a lot, especially when you consider that the school fees in secondary schools are like what, $20 a month? $22 for public secondary schools, according to the MOE website. Many Stomper's comments echo your sentiments. Stomper James, James. XM Zen N says, $50 for, from each student for a one-time event like this is excessive. Is. If the school is in bad times, why still spend so much money on an event like this? If it's $5 or maximum $10, it's still okay. Yeah, I also think that the best thing to do is to make contributions optional. I remember my school would ask for donations from parents for major school celebrations like anniversaries. And it's not obligatory, you know? Mm -hmm. But families that are more well-off can donate more, while others can donate just whatever they can. Makes sense. Forcing a $50 contribution, I mean, from every single student, is pretty unfair to me. Yeah, $50 may be like... 0.01% of one family's monthly income, but it can also be 10% of a single parent's family monthly income if they only earn like $500. Yeah. Stomper Black Patchy made a good point. He said EduSafe is meant for enrichment, not for deferring costs for such school events. Don't have the reserve money? Then don't organize such big events lah. You know, this isn't the only case involving schools which has stirred up a debate online. Stomper Fox tells us that Kuo Chuan Primary School has imposed a $5 deposit on students to ensure they turn up for YOG events. The schools certainly know how to hit us where it hurts. It seems schools intend to use the $5 deposit to encourage students to turn up for the events. Hmm. Students will get the $5 deposit back when they show up at the YOG events. Wow, that is certainly an incentive to attend the games. I wouldn't want to lose $5 just like that. Stomper Ducky's Duck finds it ridiculous. This kind of event should not be compulsory for students, especially on Sundays, yeah. our precious Sundays, right? Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like the only day students have time to relax and spend time with their family. Plus, why do they have to pay and be forced to go if they don't want to go? On the other hand, Stomper TKS argues, I think the school is being responsible to implement measures to ensure that those who take the tickets turn up. Otherwise, we will see many more empty seats, even though all tickets are sold out. Well, Stomper Flabbergasted has some alternate measures to suggest. There are many different approaches. I consider this as forced approach. Instead, they could reward those people who went in different ways like rewarding CCA points or free meal and not ask for money like some beggars. One is the approach of using a carrot and the other is using the stick. I guess they both have the effectiveness, right? Yes, but the school's chosen to go with using the stick. So let's hope all the students show up and get their money back. In the next clip, we move on from food to one man's trauma in an all-male sauna. Yikes.